everyone. Amanda here again with another installment of Amanda Gets Excited About Books. Yay! I have here behind me a box of brand new books that just came into the library and I am so excited to share these titles with you. I have to admit I took a little peek in the box when I was bringing it in here and there are so many things in here to get excited about and so many books that you are going to want to check out. Just a reminder, Everything that's in this box, everything that I'm about to show you, is in our catalog right now, and you can place a hold on it right now. So once it's all cataloged and processed, it will be ready for you. So if you see something you like, make sure to sign into the catalog and request it. Again, I'll try to keep this video from getting really long, so I may go through some of the titles pretty quickly, but hopefully you're as excited about all of these as I am. So let's get started. Our first title is by Emma Donahue, who you may recognize as the author of Room. She's got a new one called The Pull of the Stars. I cannot wait to read this one. Shirley and Jamila save their summer. This is a modern take on the Sherlock and Watson partnership, uh, two friends uh, kind of solving mysteries and such throughout the summer. I'm a huge Sherlock Holmes fan. I am always on board for a Sherlock adaptation and you make it two awesome ladies, it's even better. So I can't wait for this book. Next up, we have The Great Big Pumpkin Cookbook. I know we don't want to think about it, but fall is just around the corner. And as we all know, fall means pumpkin. So if you're looking for some good fall flavors and some things to use your pumpkin with, make sure to check out this cookbook. And while you're cooking, another one that I didn't know was coming out, but now have to check out that now that I've seen it, is Let's Bake a Pusheen Cookbook. So if you're a fan of Pusheen and the adorableness there like I am, you're gonna wanna check this out. You're gonna wanna make all of the adorable treats that are in this book. Next up, we have The Unadoptables by Hannah Took, a group of students, kids left at an orphanage, um, and some of the adventures that they get up to as a result of that. This one sounds like a recipe for a perfect romance. The State of Us by Sean David Hutchison. Uh, this one is about two boys whose parents are running against each other for President of the United States. But of course, these two boys fall for each other and now they have to deal with liking each other but being on opposite sides of this presidential race. Um, that sounds amazing. I definitely want to read this one and you will want to as well. Now we jump to an adorable picture book, another one perfect for upcoming fall and all of the things that happen in fall. This is The Little Ghost Who Lost Her Boo by Elaine Bickle. This is another one that I know I'm waiting for, I'm on hold for, I can't wait. This is The Amelia Six by Kristen Gray. Um, this is a uh, middle grade mystery, um, six friends who solve a uh, mystery surrounding Amelia Earhart. We all know that with the release of Midnight Sun, vampires are coming back in vogue, and we've got a new uh, and very exciting YA vampire book starting here by Caleb Roerig called The Fell of Dark. This one, I love this cover. Um, I'm always a fan of really cool covers and this is definitely one of them. This is The Black Kids by Christina Hammonds Reed about a girl living in Los Angeles during the riots in the 90s and coming to terms with being the only black girl in her group of friends and kind of what that means for her and her life and everything that's happening around her. So quite timely. Another one that I just am so excited about. This is Faith Taking Flight by Julie Murphy, who is the author of Dumplin', uh, amongst other things. 
Faith, uh, if you're unfamiliar, uh, started as a comic book character, um, kind of a big deal being one of the few plus size superheroes. Um, so this is a YA prose novel um, about that comic book character. And I am super excited to read this. And e even if you haven't read Faith's graphic novels, I recommend taking a look at this. It should be fantastic. We jump over to a little bit of adult nonfiction with this one. The answer is, this is Alex Trebek's uh, memoir that just is coming out here. Uh, another one I'm very excited about. The Queen of Tuesday is a Lucille Ball story. Um, this is by Darren Strauss. It's a little bit of fact, a little bit of fiction, um, examining everyone's favorite comedian. Um, I know we are big I Love Lucy fans in my house. Um, we've seen all of them countless times. So I'm looking forward to reading this. Um, also timely because Lucille Ball's birthday just happened on August 6th. Sure to be a big one. This is a recent Oprah pick. This is Cast, The Origins of Our Discontents by Isabel Wilkerson. So definitely one you'll want to get your name on. Uh, Oprah picks are always quite popular. Another one that I cannot wait to read. This is Dress Coded by Carrie Firestone. Uh, middle school girls who are tired of the sexist and unfair dress codes that they are subjected to at school. Uh, so they decide to do something about it in the form of a podcast. I'm always a fan of strong young women taking a stand, standing up for themselves. So I am definitely going to be reading this one and I recommend that you do as well. Another exciting and quite lovely cover of a YA book. This is Girl, Serpent, Thorn by Melissa Bashardust. Excuse me. This one is sure to be a popular pick. Svetlana Chamakova comes back with another middle grade graphic novel, this time going into the world of the supernatural with the Weirn books. Uh, if you happen to check out our free comic books that have been outside our front door for free comic book summer, there was a teaser for this book, which I read and loved. So I am excited to read the full version now that we've got it in. Next up, we have Thieves of Weird Wood. This is by Christina McKay Heidecker. Um, and this one is recommended for fans of Morgan Crow and the Five Kingdoms and Aru Shah, a little bit of uh, fantasy supernatural. Um, looks like it should be lots of fun. Next up, we have Half Past Peculiar by Derek Friedolfs and Dustin Nguyen. This is a middle grade, partly graphic novel, partly prose book. Uh, little bit of creepy supernatural stuff in this one as well. Should be a fun read. Again, I'm a sucker for those really gorgeous covers. Goddess in the Machine by Laura Beth Johnson. Um, looks gorgeous. This is a YA sci-fi start of a series. Um, should, be, should be a great read. Next, we jump to another picture book that came in, Girl vs. Squirrel by Haley Barrett. Uh, that's an interesting standoff. I'm not sure who's gonna win, the girl or the squirrel, so I'll have to read it and find out, and so will you. Next up, we've got I'll Be the One by Lila Lee. I feel like we've got a few in this box that'll be good for creepy season coming up. We have Little Creeping Things by Chelsea Icasso. Uh, this cover kind of creeps me out. Dolls can be a little scary, and this one looks like it's sure to be chills and a little bit of creepy spookiness going on in this book. We jump into some lovely steampunk here with this young adult graphic novel, City of Secrets by Victoria Ying. Uh, this was 
just reviewed on a uh, webinar that I was watching recently and it sounded excellent, so I'm excited to take a look at this one. This might be the one in this box that I am the most excited about. This is Lois Lane and the Friendship Challenge by Grace Ellis and Brittany Williams. Brittany Williams is one of my top three favorite comics artists of all time. I love her art. It's super cute. Uh, you can take a look and see a little bit of how her, her art looks. I love it. Uh, this is middle grade young Lois Lane. Um, who's a character that you've got to love. So I can't wait to read this one. Definitely check this one out. Then we take a jump to another audiobook that's just come in, a new James Patterson. So again, one you'll want to get your name on if you don't already. This is The Midwife Murders. Next up, we have Braver, A Wombat's Tale by Suzanne Selfors. And interestingly, I'm not always a huge fan of animal adventures, but this one I want to read just because that cover is so cute. And our little wombat friend here is just adorable. And so I want to find out all about the adventures that this little one is going on. And our final book on this box, another one that will probably have some people waiting uh, if you're a fan of James Lee Burke, the newest uh, book of his, A Private Cathedral. Thank you so much again for going through this box of books with me. I hope that you saw some things that you're as excited about as I am. Again, all of these can be requested in our catalog right now, so definitely jump on and request any of the ones that you want once they're all ready and enjoy them when you get them. Thanks again for joining me and I will see you next time.